So now with your slicer loaded, you need to update your starting G code to have the new EZABL starting code. You can get the starting code that we recommend by going to our help center at support.th3dstudio.com. So if you type EZABL starting G code, you'll get a couple of articles. We have the EZABL bed leveling starting code. And we also have an article here that covers where the starting code is located in different slicers, including Cura, Simplify 3D, and Slick 3R slash Prusa Slicer. The actual code itself is located here on this article. And we want to just go ahead and copy all of this code. And we're going to paste it into our slicer starting code. So I have a CR10v2 profile here already. I'm going to go into scripts under Simplify 3D. I'm going to select all with a control A, get rid of all the code that was there and paste in the one I copied from our website. That's all we need to do. And now this is the new starting code. Now, one thing I will recommend is that you change your first layer height to 150% for a 0.2 first layer. If you're doing a 0.3 first layer, you can leave it at 100. And I also like to run my first layer width at 150%. I also would recommend you set your first layer speed to 25 to 30%. And for dialing in the perfect Z offset, we're going to want to do a skirt with an offset from the part we're printing and give yourself plenty of outlines to get a chance to dial it in. So I'm gonna set this to 10 and I'm gonna go ahead and pull in just a test file. And for our test file, we're gonna use the tried and true Benchy. I'm going to go ahead and slice this up and then we're gonna save this onto an SD card and put it in the printer. As you can see here, this code has generated a nice little perimeter around the part. And we're going to adjust the Z offset on the little skirt here that runs around the part to get our perfect Z offset. So go ahead and save this file with the skirt. You don't have to print a bench. It could be whatever you want. The important part is we're slicing up something and setting that skirt around the part. Kira and Slick 3R slash Prusa Slicer also have a skirt option as well. You just wanna make sure it's away from the part. And we're gonna show you guys how that looks when we're adjusting it for our first print.